A ton of information just leaked out about AMD's next generation RDNA 4 GPUs, and fellas, if these leaks turn out to be true, well, AMD might as well pack it up because this is insulting. Let's talk about it. Before that, if you just built or bought a new PC and you don't want to spend $200 on a Windows 11 Pro license, well, thankfully, VIP CDK Deals has just what you need, offering excellent prices on games and software, and right now, you can get a Windows 10 or 11 Pro OEM key for a great deal. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC20 for an additional 30% off, bringing the total to just $23 for Windows 11 and $17 for Windows 10, and you can even find great deals on products such as Office 2019. You can also check out securely with PayPal, and once the payment is cleared, you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate your new copy of Windows, just search Activate Under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more, be sure to click the link in the description below. Okay, so look, AMD's had many chances in the past to really upset the GPU market, and more times than not recently, it seems like they've been choosing not to do so. Now, RDNA 3, I do think had some pretty good value GPUs in there, especially with the 7700, 7700 XT, and 7800 XT after some price drops, but I do feel like they were just priced a little bit too high on their launch, and this is something that seems to happen far too frequently with AMD. They bring out a new GPU, series, they price it a little bit too high, and then they slowly drop it down to a point where it finally becomes, well, very desirable by gamers. But by that point, the reviews have already happened and people have made up their mind. And it's a huge blunder that AMD's Radeon division makes generation after generation, at least in the recent history that we've been seeing. And unfortunately, it looks like RDNA 4 could be following in a similar type of footstep. And this is gonna make these cards, in my opinion, probably very underwhelming if these leaks and rumors turn out to be true because it looks like not only do we have some information on the GPUs themselves, the naming as well as potential performance, but also apparently some possible pricing as well. I'm just gonna say it, it just doesn't look good. So I'm really hoping it's wrong, but we'll have to wait and see. Now, this information is coming from a Twitter leaker, All the Watts. Now, I do recommend taking this with a grain of salt, as I'm not entirely sure how good this person's track record is. So who knows, this could be wrong. Again, I'm hoping it is, but he did go ahead and actually leak the entire AMD Radeon RX 9000 series. It looks like the 9070, the 9060, the 9050, and the 9040. Now they are gonna have XT or maybe XTX monikers at the end, as if we actually scroll down here, you can see that there's actually a 9070 XT and a 9070. And to be honest with you guys, even though Radeon does tend to, well, change the name of their graphics far too frequently, I think they should stick with this one because it is kind of similar to Nvidia and it is gonna help, I think, their brand recognition, even though it's gonna be a little weird to get used to. So yeah, something like the 9070 XT, it kind of sounds like a 5070, but with just a larger number. So yeah, makes a lot of sense. All that looks good. And then actually, if we take a look here, he did break down some of the information. Now we have gotten info on RDNA 4 in the past. And on paper, if it does have the right price, it could certainly be a very good graphics card. In the past, people like Red Gaming Tech have leaked that potentially it could be between an RX 7900 GRE and a 7900 XT in terms of performance. And hey, yeah, that could actually be pretty good, especially if it has 16 gigabytes of VRAM and comes in between maybe 350 to $400. That would be insane. That would be a really big upset in the GPU market, and I think it would sell very, very well. And here, once again, All the Watts is claiming that yes, it could be greater than or equal to a 7900 GRE and actually less than a 7900 XT. And apparently it will have a 256 bit bus, which does mean yes, likely 16 gigabytes of VRAM. And then the 9070, which is gonna be cut down, should probably have 12 gigabytes of VRAM and a 192 bit bus based on the information that he's posting here. So everything's looking good until we take a look at the pricing. 449 to 649 for the 256 bit 9070 XT. And then the code name, I believe Navi 44, which is gonna be the well lower end GPUs is 179 to 349. Now I'm not entirely sure how that's gonna stack up, but let me tell you guys, 449 to 649 for these cards is insane. Now I'm not entirely sure if this is in US dollars or another currency, kind of looks like it's in US dollars, but it's hard to say. I have no idea where this person is located. I hope hope it's not in US dollars because if it is, that's a little bit scary. 
449, I'm assuming is probably gonna be the bottom price for the RX 9070 and 649, the potential top end price for the 9070 XT. And that's just, that's so crazy, like AMD. <laughs> This can't be true. There's there's no way this can be true because it makes absolutely no sense. It would be a regression in terms of price to performance because if we scroll down here, there was actually some information on the performance of this card that was shared and somebody actually broke it down over on Twitter. Apparently it's a time spy score. It looks like, well, apparently it's gonna be slightly faster than the 7900 GRE as it's getting, it looks like 22,894 for its score whereas the 7900 GRE is getting 22,443, but it is gonna fall short of the 7900 XT. Now, why is this alleged pricing so bad when considering that performance? Well, the 7900 GRE did come out at $550, so sure, if, let's say, magically this card was 450, that doesn't sound so bad based on the leaks. However, the 7900 GRE has dropped as low as $479.99 recently. You can see it if you look it up on the internet, it's definitely happened and it's frequently been around $500 as well. So you're telling me then in a best case scenario, AMD's like, yeah, hey, you want another 7900 GRE for 30 bucks off? Is it, like, is this really what we're waiting for after a whole new generation? Because if that's the case, that's so, that's a joke. AMD, there's no way, there's no way you can come to market with this. If this is your plan, scrap the cards, don't even release them. It's that bad. That is just insulting, that is ridiculous. And it's made even worse that again, that is like a best case scenario based on this leak, which I hope is incorrect or in a different currency, but I'm just, you know, <laughs> considering what AMD's done in the past, at, th at this point, it wouldn't even surprise me. The, but remember, it could be as high as apparently $649. Could you imagine buying a 7900 GRE for $480 and then AMD comes around a year or two years later and goes, hey, you wanna buy that same card but with better ray tracing for instead of $480 or $500, $650? I can't imagine that, that's just, this is stupid talk. This is so crazy. And I honestly, I'm not even going to be surprised if AMD does it because again, they've been making the worst decisions on pricing recently. If they come out with it at 650, nobody's going to buy this. We have Intel coming out with the B770 and B780. Hopefully, hopefully they're not canceled that are probably going to be, yes, a little bit slower than this, but probably coming in at like $350 for the top end card, 16 gigabytes of VRAM. So who would buy this? Who would buy this at 650? And to be honest with you, I don't even think 450 is very good. Even if it's way better at ray tracing and has some new features and FSR 4 and all these things, that's great, but you cannot just slash prices by $30 compared to what you have in the market right now and then hope that people are gonna go, wow, ray tracing is better. Let me go buy it. That's not gonna happen. AMD, that is ridiculous. This card needs to come in at $399, maybe at most $419 or maybe, and this is a stretch, $429 if the ray tracing is like really really, really excellent. And everything has really been improved massively. Sure, then maybe if it performs a little bit better than what we're seeing here, going up against something like a 5070, it could be a better value card. But 450, I think is really pushing it in anything beyond that is just absolute stupidity. Why? Why would you even consider this? So I'm really hoping that this information is incorrect. It's pretty early to be throwing out pricing here, but there could be someone on the inside who has heard some potential prices being thrown around, so I'm not gonna necessarily completely discount it, but I'll, again, I'll tell you this, AMD, if you're coming out at 450 or higher, don't bother releasing it, you're wasting everybody's time, unless it ends up being a lot faster and what these leaks are suggesting. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that the RX 9070 XT would be worth 450 or maybe even as high as $650? Or do you think that AMD has completely lost their mind? Now, I know that guy over at AMD is claiming he wants to be an 80% market share guy, but um, Radeon, this sounds like more of a 2% market share move. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.